Greetings, food surfers. I'm Eric Surf Six. Never mind, forget it. Greetings, food surfers. I'm Eric Surf Six. Welcome to Eric Meal Time. And in today's episode, we are doing Mexican food. Yeah. Starting off with a frozen margarita. Cheers, I don't want to spill it. Kish. It's filled to the brim here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's get some of the frozenness here. It's been ages since I've had a margarita. That is really refreshing. Mm -hmm. I can taste the tequila. We've also got some lime beer here. I'm gonna get that lime in the bottle, otherwise known as Corona. All righty, and the appetizer is here. Look at this lovely guacamole dish. Yes, it's served in stone. Mm-hmm. Got the chips here. Let's go right in. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Awful lot of guacamole. That's probably two avocados worth right there. Fresh avocados. It's a pretty simple guacamole. I'm tasting creaminess and salt. And these are a deep fried chip. Got a lot of crunch to these. Mm -hmm. This dish is called the Ensalada de la Casa, and it is a cactus salad. Cactus. Wow. That's pretty interesting. And they give you tortillas to eat it with, so. Corn tortillas. Nice. Smell the corn. And there's also cheese and tomatoes that you can add to it and some little crispy chips here. Cactus salad, this is a first. It's a little on the bland side. It's very simple. Maybe I should add some guacamole. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I'm thinking. There we go. Oh yeah, that brings it to life. Mm-hmm. Okay, going in. Let's get it with some cheese this time. Mm hmm. Cheese has got some bite. Try it with the chip. Oh, it's very light. This dish is called brochetta comorones. Food on a stick. What are the ingredients here? We've got a mushroom, shrimp, looks like some beef, some peppers, another mushroom. It's nice looking. Oh, that's a lovely shrimp. Mm-hmm. Very flavorful, like Cajun style. It's nice, these are the colors of Mexico right here. You've got red, white, and green. Beautiful. We've got some beef here. 
Something inside that, onions maybe. It's like wrapped. It's a wrapped meat. There's the Mexican flag. And the dish also comes with rice and some salsa or hot sauce. These are seasoned just right. They don't need anything on them. But let's try some of the rice with it. Very curious about the sauce. It looks really spicy. I will let you know. That's pretty spicy. I like a chili sauce. Yeah, wow. <coughs> I'm not sure if it's really necessary. I think it's the same thing that's on the shrimp right here. So you could apply extra. Yeah, it's definitely cooked with this. So yeah, if you really want to kick up the spice, this dish is called Entremos Rancheros and a couple different types of meat. This is basic pork here. And then this is chorizo, sausage pork. And then it looks like broccoli and cauliflower, some of the rice chips again, and beans. Beans and chips, or tortilla chips. What is that? Let's try that out. It's a slab of cheese. Oh, that's delicious. Full slab of cheese. Okay, and they give you the corn tortillas here to Assemble. So I'm gonna go for the chorizo. I'm not sure these are really meant to be eaten with tortillas because these items are all too big, but it comes with it. So I guess that's kind of the way you're gonna do it. Basically the rule is that you don't wanna to put too much stuff inside the tortilla or you just get a big mess. So that's about max really. You don't wanna put much more than that. Or it's gonna be just a mess. We keep it simple. Mm -hmm. Let's add salsa. Oh, it's some nice meat. Smoky meat. Let's add some guacamole. How do you guys say it? Guacamole, guacamole. <laughs> and the spicy sauce. Mm. Wow, that is really good.
looks like they're encouraging you to eat the beans with the chips here. You can make it like nachos and add the cheese. Mm -hmm. Let's add a bit of cheese. Oh, that's those are some good beans. There's a nacho right there. The beans are hearty for sure. Let's try some of this spicier sauce. The cheese is definitely a nice touch. You got endless amount of cheese here. That's a lot of cheese. <laughs> That's tasty. Nice beans. Got that beautiful charring on the meat there. Charred on the outside and very soft in the center. Mm -hmm. It's a very soft sausage. Yeah, it's a good dish. Look at these lovely enchiladas. These are chicken enchiladas and the toppings are different. So spicy here. This is a chocolate sauce in the middle and this is green tomato and basil. No, not basil, garlic. I'll try that one first. So shredded chicken, you can see it there. Let's try the uh, chocolate. <laughs> chocolate sauce. I don't think I've ever had chocolate sauce before on an enchilada for a big bite here. I guess there's a little bit of chocolatiness. They're pretty dry. How about this one? This one looks a little bit more wet and moist. This one's gonna have the spice on it, huh? Okay. Pretty average. This dish is called Camarones al Tequila. It's a shrimp dish with an amazing looking sauce on it. Served with rice. Okay. Let's get some. Looks amazing. Right in for the shrimp. It's a cheesy sauce. Delicious. Wow. Oh, and these prawns are amazing. Wow, that's good. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> the dessert has arrived. This is leche frita con tequila. That was the tequila you saw being poured on top of it. Look at that. It's a pudding. It smells like tequila and donuts. Oh. Wow. Now that is tasty. Very interesting pudding. Kind of reminds me of apple cobbler. It's got sort of a, it's thick. Mm -hmm. And it's got an apple flavor to it and cinnamon. It was very nice. We'll finish off with a sip of black coffee here. Oh yeah. Oh, that's some definitely thick coffee. Thick, <coughs> strong coffee. So there it was, Mexican food in Tokyo. This is a pretty amazing place, being down here in the dungeon and all. The uh, food was good all around. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. So give the video a thumbs up if you did. And for my rating scale, I think I'm going to go five out of six today. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.